welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel and if you are new here, thank you for tuning in and whether it was the title or the thumbnail that you have seen, thank you for tuning in and I hope you enjoy the video. If you are new, I post Sunday 7pm every single week and Wednesday 7pm every single week so it's lifestyle and fashion content. If that is what you're into then you are in the right place so thank you for tuning in. We're gonna keep the intro short and sweet because you've seen the towel you already know what it is. This is an accumulation of products that I've been picking up uh maybe over the last few weeks possibly months but in a nutshell it's everything that is new into my wardrobe so i want to show you guys it will not be a try on however i will have styling videos coming up literally the next week and the week after so on and so forth that will show you these items on so hopefully you can forgive me in this instance there's just so much to show that this video would literally be an hour long if i did that but as i said you see in the title stay tuned and let's get into it the first items I'm actually gonna show you aren't on the rail, cause you can't even see the full rail. There's a lot, there's a lot. The first items are some faux leather pieces that I've picked up. So I'll start with this one first. Um, this one is from ASOS, but it's actually the brand Stradivarius and they are some faux leather leggings. Now what I will say, are my hands are very moisturized, a little bit oily. So it's kind of making the leather look a little shinier than it is. It isn't shiny at all. And I obviously have lights as well, but say that to say, I picked this up in a Euro 40. Yeah, so Euro 40, it's UK size 12. Great elastication in a waistband. Um, as I mentioned, they are leggings, but what's interesting about these ones are, and again, great length. They have a zip on the side and usually if I see a zip, that's like a big no-no for me. I'm like, mm, it's not gonna fit where it needs to fit. These ones are really good. Now, maybe an unpopular opinion, I do not feel like it's cold enough to be wearing a lot of the things that I'm seeing people wearing. And I say that because these I wore recently and honestly, I was hot. Like, we're just not there yet. So I think I'm gonna keep these on the back burner until like actual winter comes around. The next piece then to show you, as I mentioned, is another faux leather item. This one is from Mango, however. So again, with a lot of these products, they do have like the fleece sort of like lining. Well, not really fleece, but like that felt sort of lining on the inside. This I picked up in a Euro 40 again, so a UK size 12. These products are not items I typically have in my wardrobe. So it's like for sizing, I just wanted to be careful. And to be fair, I hit the nail on the head for both of them. This is super cute. Again, kind of similar to the leggings, but a totally different brand. You have like the paneling, which I'm hoping you can see like the stitching just there. So really, really nice stitching detail on both the leggings and the skirt. This is a pencil skirt style. So as you can see, it's got the slit there that falls onto the side and it does have a zip on the side as well. This is such a vibe because obviously it's a bit more of like a dressed up item. So naturally the way I like to wear it is to wear something really, really casual on top. Obviously, if you wanted to wear this for like date night or an evening sort of outfit, then you could definitely dress it up. But I just like the, I would say the contrast. I like the contrast of like the more formal bottom with a casual top. As I mentioned, these are all items in my wardrobe. So these are staying with me and some of them I have worn already. And this is another piece in which I've done that. Got a few compliments as well, which is always nice. But yeah, faux leather skirt, faux leather leggings, I think are autumn staples anyway. But that's a whole other video coming soon another item that you can probably see peeking from the side if you watched my hmm, actually can i say that i don't know if this video is coming out first but i have a hamburg video coming out a hamburg vlog so i went to germany for a few days and if you have watched that video or if you do watch that video you will see that i showed you this item when i picked up in zara so it is this gelee right here i adore this piece because I know all the girlies have been getting the other one like the beige sort of like cream version one but it just wasn't giving I don't know if it's the outfit I wore on the day but no it just wasn't I wasn't feeling it but I had my eye on this one and so when I tried it on this one is in a size medium when I tried it on I was like yeah this is a bit of me what I love about this piece as well is the fact that even though it's a gelee it does have like a really really nice lining that goes all the way through it and I think it will personally keep me quite warm. I'm still at a stage where wearing a coat or a jacket, like it's too warm for me. So I do think I'm gonna get more than enough wear out of this. I know some people are debating like, is it warm enough? Are you not there being stuff in the pockets? Oh, fantastic. 
Um, I know people are debating like, does this actually keep you warm? But in my opinion, I think it does. I just think this one was more my style. It has the pockets, the lining, you've got the sort of belted detail there at the top and the bottom. If you see me glancing, I'm just looking at the mirror. Top and bottom. I just think it's a vibe. I'm gonna move to this end actually and try and just change it up a little bit. So this gorgeous, gorgeous number. This dress is from Zara. Um, I've actually worn this, but it's still got the tags on anyway. It's in a size medium, $49.99. Um, I'm actually laughing because I'm like, okay, if it still has a tag on, like, could anyone see the tag when I was wearing it? I don't know. No one said anything. So here we are. Beautiful midi length, flowy dress with a belted waist as well. This is so, like, when I say this is so me, it's funny because when I showed my sister, she was like, another black and white dress. And I was like, what's your point? Honestly, I love a black and white dress. The silhouettes of them and just the way I feel like it looks on me, it's just... 10 out of 10. So this one, as I mentioned, is from Zara. What I really, really love about this piece though is it does have the button details that goes all the way down to like your waist. And then the rest of it is just like a flowy sort of, not even A-line, but just like a really, really nice flowy midi length dress, midaxi depending on your height. I actually really love the fact that the buttons stop because then you can just cinch in the waist. You don't have to worry about gaping or kind of like showing anything at the bottom. It has pockets. Sleeve wise, it's actually like an elasticated sleeve. So no cuffs, just an elasticated sleeve and it does have the simple collar neckline. 50 pounds, I would say could be deemed as being a little steep. Like even for me, I kind of ummed and odd. But the reality is I know I will get so much wear out of this. Obviously you can wear it by itself. It's a gorgeous print, quite bold, even though it's like black and white, it's quite bold. Gorgeous print, but it's a staple piece in a sense where you can wear it like this, you can wear it layered. So if you wanna wear like a V-neck jumper or a round neck jumper, wear a pop of color with it. Like I just think it's top tier stuff. This dress I do still believe is there, even though it's not a try on, everything will be linked below guys. You know how we do here. So yeah, 50 pounds, I think quality wise, the way it fits, the way it feels, and hopefully the way it washes, I think is really, is really gonna make it make sense. It does have some pocket details there as well. I'll come back to this end because I might as well show you this piece and some of you probably would have seen this already because I feel like H&M hauls are just all over YouTube right now anyway but I managed to secure this jacket in a size small because it is oversized and I'm so happy that I again just listened to the reviews and just like saw what they were saying on the website I picked up this gorgeous gorgeous jacket what I love about this is just because of how informal it is, but how casual it is, how warm it will keep you. It's not thick, but for someone like me who is more than happy to layer, it will keep you like a nice temperature. I would say winter, winter, like the bitter cold winter, this ain't it. Like you are not going to reach for this. Well, I would not expect you to reach for this. But overall, I just think it's a lovely, lovely jacket. It's got all the poppers going down the front, so no zip details, just poppers. It also has some poppers at the side as well. So if you wanna undo those for any reason, you have the option of doing that as well. Sleeve wise, it's just a very like basic sleeve, no cuffs, no detailing. Altogether, it's a really basic jacket actually. It's kind of got like this quilted design as you can see as well. Even though I haven't worn it yet, I'm still happy to have it in the roster. Like we're happy to have this as part of the collection. So yeah, I think this will be one I'll have for years and years to come. As long as it lasts, right? Sticking to items that I just think are staples and will last and I'm just excited to have and wear. The next one is this blazer. Now guys, one thing I don't think you know is the struggle I have had to find like a perfect sort of nude, beige, lighter toned blazer. Sometimes they're too yellow, sometimes they're too pink. I've had ones that are just so like, like I picked up a white one that just looks so clinical. It just wasn't giving. When I saw this one in, again, H&M, picked it up in a UK size 14, I ummed and ahed yet again because i've picked up blazers from h&m before where from a quality perspective it's just not giving i'm used to picking up a lot of my blazers from zara and with the zara blazers they tend to have the shoulder padding like it just feels a lot more structured and just better quality this one however really really surprised me so it's this beautiful sort of like beige toned blazer with sort of like dark, it has like got like a tortoise shell button, but dark tortoise shell buttons. 
it's just such a vibe i'm so happy to have this in my collection you don't understand guys so in a size 14 it does have some shoulder padding not as much as like zara do but it just feels really really nice and again this is something where i just feel like i will have for a while it is in a more like looser sort of relaxed fit i would say more like a boyfriend style uh blazer i just think it's a great addition it's so cute it's so so cute and i think the buttons are a great addition i'm happy it's not too detailed not too like gaudy it's just on point so yeah pick that up from h&m again in a uk size 14. this next piece is another item i picked up when i was in germany and i'm really loving navy i'm on a hunt for like some great bottoms in navy and gray because i think again it'll just fit into my wardrobe this uh really really simply is a bodysuit suit from zara we already know the classic style sort of bodysuit we've seen it time and time again in so many colors and i'm so happy they brought it out in the navy so for anyone who hasn't seen these or doesn't have them it does have the poppers at the bottom kind of like a scoop like racer neck style really nice just simple the only thing i did say and i kind of questioned myself about picking it up was well not that i don't think i know they don't wash very well and i ain't here for it it doesn't happen with the skims one so it's a bit like what's going on here but it is nice and price wise i guess it's quite inexpensive compared to skims and some other brands as well it does have the lining on the inside so again if you don't want to wear a bra or anything like that you'll be absolutely fine i think navy and brown is such an elite combo like are you dumb is giving great basic definitely good for this season when you're going to be layering and all of that good stuff and i'm just really happy with these items but anyway let's get into the next one so another bodysuit that i picked up from zara this one is in a size large and um, price wise i'm not sure because again i picked this up in germany but everything as i mentioned will be linked below this color is so gorgeous like i don't even know like it's almost like a minky tone like a minky sort of color and i think that is such a beautiful neutral shade um it's a red bodysuit this reminds me of a jacquemus bodysuit that i saw on their website but i think that one was short sleeve if i'm not mistaken and i was saying hmm i haven't seen any high streets do anything like this so as soon as i saw this one i had to snap it up because i am not going to pay the jacquemus prices no shade no tea but we just the economy is tight so i picked this one up it's in a large the buttons are functional so it is in like a polo neck style bodysuit rib material that kind of like classic uh, zara rib material it does have the poppers um like a brief style bottom of the bodysuit nice long sleeves but i just thought it was a really nice piece they did have it in black and i was like don't be that girl i've been doing that way too much where i see something and i buy it in multiple colors so i said nope I'm not gonna do it this time Although I have been thinking about it, so don't judge me if you see it in a picture or if you see me talking about it. I might just, but let me see how I get on with this one first. But black is just classic. We know that already. I have to show you this item. Like it's halfway through the line, but I'm like, nope, I'm going to show it to you right now. This jumper, first of all, is probably the brightest thing on this rail and definitely the brightest thing I've bought in a while. This jumper is fan fantastic it's um in uh, it's 100 wool i picked this up in a size large it's from zara and uh, yeah this is 100 wool absolutely gorgeous like what a sexy pop of color to have in your wardrobe for this season it is in that sort of like electric sort of like cobalt blue really 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 nice for me i was like rachel really but honestly i tried it on and i was like there's no way i can leave this like absolutely no way so yeah the ribbed effect on the neckline as well as the cuffs really simple piece a nice length actually let me talk about that real quick a really really nice length i would say low key depending on how petite you are you could get away with this being a jumper dress pick this up great length you can definitely layer with it tuck it in just play around with it in general but I just thought it was a it was a gorgeous piece as well. Here's to a really lovely basic top that I would say I would say it's a basic that I picked up from Zara in a size medium. Stripes have been on everybody's neck. Like really the stripes. Yeah, they need to start because even I'm just like, what the hell is going on? 
This piece though has a really nice fit. Like it's so deceivingly basic, but it has such a nice fit. This is really, really lovely. Again, as a layering piece to wear it under blazers, you can definitely wear it by itself. What I will say is they do have this in black and cream as well, because it's like an ecru sort of cream base. They do have the inverse or the reverse, should I say, where it's the black and the uh, stripes are cream, sort of like ecru. But I thought this one suited me a little bit better. I preferred like this colorway, so. But again, I just thought this was a really, really lovely piece to have. Even with like the skirt that I'm wearing, for example, it may be a little bit of a clash because this is striped, but I think you could make it work. Pull in, uh, bring the black out with like some boots or something like that. I think that could be a shout. Speaking of boots, let me show you what I got. No word of a lie, I have been waiting, absolutely gagging to show you guys these boots. From H&M, premium quality, so they are genuine leather. Um, what I will say is if you're not into leather, there are so many dupes out there at the moment, but I feel like leather makes a lot of sense for me right now. So I decided to pick it up. Um, I don't know what they're called, but I did pick these up in a UK size five. So I'm actually a UK size four originally, but I always pick up my boots in a UK five. I don't know when or why I started doing that, but it's been making sense since I started doing so. And this was no exception. So they are these boots. They're brand new. Only reason my hands are on the soles, but they are what? So I have been on a hunt for boots like these because I have a pair that I wore like last winter as well, but they're healed and they're crop effect. And I was like, do you know what? I want something that I could wear more so like day to day that has that same sort of length, that similar sort of fit on my calf where it's like looser fit. Um, so nothing like super, super fitted and I kind of knew what I was looking for. No word of a lie, guys. Like, no word of a lie. Please do not judge me. No word of a lie. I definitely ordered maybe 12 different pairs of these boots because I could never find them in store. So when I found them online, I ordered every single one I could find to basically find the perfect fit, the perfect style, just the perfect everything I was looking for. And then I got these. Price-wise, I think these were either 100 or 120. Straight away, I'm hoping you can see they have a chunky sole. Really nice, but not too high. This is essentially what I was looking for. Everything you can see this, that this boot is, is what I wanted. As I mentioned, I picked it up in a Euro um, 38, so a UK size five. Only detailing, it has like these little tabs at the back and some of the ooh, stitching details uh, here as well. But honestly, guys, they are so perfect. Like they're everything I have wanted and more. And I'm just excited to style these up. As I said, I've been waiting to show you guys these. I'm so happy with them. And yeah, just looking forward to wearing them in this autumn, but mainly winter season, actually. Bring on winter. Actually, scrap that out, joke, I joke. Another pair of genuine leather shoes that I picked up. I don't know. I just thought, you know what? Leather, it's gonna last. You look after it, it will look after you. Like. 10 years, 20 years, honestly, it will be there. I saw these and I'm not gonna lie, these are a bit more of like a trend, but, 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 I've been wearing these. So I didn't feel any type of way about buying them and I've worn them once already. You do need to break them in just a little bit because I did get a little, little blister, but they are gorgeous. So I picked mine up in a UK four. So this one is true to size um, or true to my size at least. I feel like this is, there's, you know, there's always one Marmite piece of the haul. I feel like this is gonna be them. These shoes I think are such a vibe. Take me back to school though. Take me all the way back to school. I think these are gorgeous. They are obviously a chunky loafer. So that's why I said they're a bit more of a trend piece to some. But I'm the sort of person where, again, work, my aesthetic, just, it makes sense for me. So I thought, why not invest a little bit more? And they weren't that expensive either, but just invest a little bit more to get a genuine leather pair, and I know they will last me. Now, the reality is, you have the Prada ones. There are so many designer brands that are doing literally the exact same thing for three figures. And these, I believe, were 50 or 60 pounds. If I'm not mistaken, again, check the link below. I just wanted something super, super simple. I have like normal loafers, as in like flatter loafers, so not chunky, that have all of those other embellishments. And I was like, do you know what? For the leather pair, 
I just want something super, super plain. They do have a little bit of weight to them. I'm a UK size four, as I've mentioned, so I have small feet for my frame, so to speak, but nothing too uncomfortable. I did kind of feel like, because of the blister, I was like picking up my foot a little bit, but, or I had to, I don't know, I just felt like I was walking a little bit weird. But again, I think once I break them in fully and just get used to them, they should be absolutely fine. The first time I wore them, I did wear them with socks. Um, which I think I'll pretty much do all the time anyway, at least tights. Even if I wore it with like this skirt, although I've got some other loafers that are coming, that's a whole other haul. Yeah, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but if you are still with me, just given the fact that there's quite a few blue items on this, again, I think I asked you for a blue heart not too long ago. Leave me a dolphin emoji. Yeah, if you've made it to this point of the video, leave a dolphin emoji in the comment section. But yeah, let's carry on. So I'm going to show you this one super, super quickly, actually, because I know I spoke about this in a recent video as well. This is in a size medium. It's one of those like tall sort of like mesh bodysuits. Absolutely gorgeous from Zara. Um, I was going to talk about them at the same time, but this is actually a co-op. So I'll hold this one for just a second. This one is lovely though, and I feel like the reason I have both of them is because I know we're in the season where it's getting obviously colder, but I just thought these were really nice if you have those occasions where you just want to dress up a little bit more, or just have something, you know, different to your outfit. They are body suits. This one is in a size medium. I think this one is in a size small. Um, so fit wise, I would say you kind of need to try them on, but I just love the print on this. Again, whether it's going to be some denim, an all black outfit, maybe you want to pull some of like the colors in this, whether it's the blues, the greens, or whatever. I just thought it was a really lovely piece to have. I've also got this one, which is actually a co -ord, and I don't think I've shown you guys this yet. I haven't worn it just yet either, but first of all, look at that skirt. <gasps> Ooh, slightly different, but I think it could work. But yeah, so this is a top alongside the skirt. I'm just gonna try and pull the skirt off. The skirt itself was 50 pounds. That I picked up in a size medium. I just think this is so gorgeous. There's something about these midi sort of like medaxi skirts that I think is such a vibe right now. So it is really long. Even on my frame, as I said, I'm about like five, seven, five, six in height. This is pretty, almost like maxi length actually. But I thought this would be really, really nice. Again, with some boots, whether it's thigh high, knee high, chunky boots, whatever, you can definitely like dress it up or dress it down. I just thought it was so, so nice. It is a little bit pricey for what it is. Like hands up, I'll definitely admit that. And it's one of those pieces again, that they say is like lingerie. I don't get it. It is looking like it's gonna be a little bit see-through. So to be honest, be careful with your underwear because you will be, showing a little more than intended, if not. But as I said, yeah, that is a co set. It comes with the top as well, which is really, really nice, not lined, so even more see-through. But I just thought it'd be a nice set to have together, but equally it'd be really, really, something really, really nice to have, um, just to have something different in my wardrobe that isn't neutral, but is still wearable, at least for me. So getting into some pieces, I picked this up from H&M. So this is basically an H&M and Zara haul with some other pieces, but I picked this up from H&M. You guys know I love a sweatshirt. If you are new here, me and sweatshirts, we are one. This is in this beautiful sort of like gray mall um, color, which I just adore when it comes to sweatshirts. It says Los Angeles on the front in a large because I wanted that oversized fit. This is really, really nice. So I picked this up in a large, not much to say about it. It does have a really, really nice, almost like fleecy um, lining on the inside. I just think it's gorgeous. It's a staple. It's autumn, winter, like we know what it is. You need some of these in your wardrobe, but I think this would be really cute. Again, dressed up or a little bit just casual if you wanna run errands, just stay warm, but look chic. Like that's the vibe. So getting into some knitwear. So let me put this one down for a second, but getting into some knitwear again, Maybe this is what you thought you were gonna be seeing. I showed this one recently in one of my vlogs. Um, this is a jumper from H&M again, so in a size medium. I love the print of this. I was actually kind of surprised that I did love it so much because I had a jumper, which I said in that video too, not too long ago from H&M, but there was something about it that was too Christmassy. So I just felt like weird wearing it even though it was autumn winter, I felt weird wearing it because it's like, okay, hun, Christmas is still like 70 days away, chill. Gorgeous print, definitely a statement piece because it's quite a bold pattern, even though it is black and white. 
but I just think it's really nice. It's not itchy at all. It looks like it would be itchy, but what I do think it is, is maybe it's one of those jumpers that will get like lint everywhere, but it doesn't seem to be. But anyway, I just thought this was really nice. A great staple piece, of course, whether you wanna wear it with a skirt. This would look cute actually, I think, styled up with the leather, the faux leather skirt I showed you earlier. I think that would be really, really nice. Or whether a mini leather skirt, just building outfits in my head here, as you can see. So only thing I would say are the sleeves are a little short to my, for my liking. Like I like my sleeves quite long, but they're kind of like a, not a raw hem, but there's no cuff detail or anything like that. I just think it's nice. Got a nice sort of like ribbed crew neckline as well. Lengthwise, just about right. Not too long, definitely not cropped. So you can tuck it in and just style it up in different ways. So this was another piece from H&M. Okay, my loves, we're getting to the last few pieces, as I've mentioned. So um, knitwear, this is from Reclaimed Vintage, so on ASOS. This is in a UK size eight, which means it's probably very oversized, or they said it was oversized on the website. Beautiful chocolate color, like what a vibe. You've got that cable knit sort of detail going through it tortoiseshell buttons to kind of match the overall color palette or the aesthetic of the cardigan really really nice now for me when i purchase things like this the buttons are functional it is a cardigan but i typically wear these as like more jumpers so to speak you could of course undo the buttons and style it up in different ways which i think would be really nice with like an all cream outfit that would be sweet or ooh, if you were to match it with navy again me and this navy and brown it's just anyway so I picked this up. Um, I can't remember the price of this, but I think it was on offer at the time. Sleeves wise, the sleeves look a little bit short, but I think it's one of those things will look really cute if you just like push up the sleeves, showcase some of your jewelry. You already know the vibe. So I think it would be nice to just kind of style up and make your own. Again, for my more petite ladies, you could potentially get away with this being like almost like a jumper dress. I know leather is like one of those materials of the season anyway, but I just think this would look really nice with some leather uh, leggings chunky boots and i'm thinking i don't know why i've got a vision of a cap not like a baseball cap but like a hat i think that could be that could be a whole vibe so yeah just because we are talking of browns i wanted to show you the one and only accessory i think i have all my bits and bobs are still in this bag so i'm just it's, it's got a little bit of a weight to it at the moment this gorgeous like are we are you are we getting it this beautiful bag from mango croc effect i don't know what is with me and croc effect i adore croc effect like oh smooth leather grainy leather more so is my vibe but croc effect to me is just so elite i love the gold hardware so this is actually like oh like faux detailing so you can't really do much with it um it does have a zip compartment so you do have a zip compartment and then two open sides there it does come with a strap if you want to wear it like cross body or on your shoulder i just really like the vibe of kind of like have it in the crook of my arm or just holding it like that obviously down um i just think it's a nice color the only reason i picked this bag up actually not that i needed a bag so to speak but for this season um i've noticed that a lot of my leather goods and my accessories are black and sometimes when you're putting an outfit together, black is just too harsh to add to it. So especially for my neutral fits, I just wanted something that was a bit warmer, a bit lighter. I am still kind of like on a hunt for like a perfect, almost like beige colored bag of a similar size and shape because I just adore this shape. It's giving like YSL, Sag de Jou, a little bit of Hermes as well. This one does have the feet at the bottom. I didn't say, sorry, this is from Mango. Mango has some fantastic bags. And for me, I just think this is the perfect, perfect size. If I want to take this to work, I can fit my iPad in it, my notebook, uh, and I think even with my outfit, what? Okay, what a fantastic little happy accident. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. So yeah, mango is your place. Let me show you this super, super quickly. This I won't talk too much about because I don't think you're really going to get the essence of this item without it being styled or tried on. But this is like a harness belt that I picked up from H&M in a size medium, which I think for me, so as I mentioned, I'm like an eight, small 10, like eight at the top. This was a great size. Um, 
this is just a nice accessory to have whether you're going to wear it with like a blazer or a dress or a shirt it just adds some dimension to your outfit so super quickly had to mention that as well really inexpensive to in this smooth sort of like faux leather um black faux leather and it does have the elastication at the back as well for some added comfort but yeah pick that up as well because i just thought it was a really nice accessory to have okay so mango really came in clutch and they do come in clutch there's some gorgeous pieces you can find on there and this dress is actually from another story so if i just start with this one super quickly um it's giving animal print I'm not mad at it. I picked it up in a size medium, so that's a UK size 10. I just love these dresses in this season because they still make you feel a bit like feminine, girly, but you can still be warm in them. So again, these are the ones where you can definitely wear some uh, thigh high boots, knee high boots, all the above, you get the gist. You can work with trainers as well if you wanna make it a little bit more casual. This one has a lovely sort of like corset crisscross detail around the midriff sort of central area. The difference between this one and a lot of the other ones is the way the dress is constructed. So this is like a V-neck dress. It does have the colors, um, the, not collar, what is it called again? The cuffs, it does have the cuffs, which kind of creates almost like a balloon sleeve effect. This one though has a zip, which you can sort of help to get in and out of because when you do put it on, it really comes in at the waist, which is just delicious. So as I mentioned, I picked this one up from Mango, really lovely piece. Definitely, again, because it's a print, it's quite bold. Even though it's neutral in colours, it is quite bold. But I think that's fun to play around with in this season. So that was the first one. And then the second one from Another Stories. This one is in a size Euro 36, which I believe is a UK 8, if I'm not mistaken. But I'll list details below. This is like a wrap style dress. So all of those three dresses I showed you, include like the black and one, uh, white one from before, have that like medaxi length which i just think is really really nice for this season but this one has some nice slits as well so if you are going to wear boots or something like a bit higher on your leg you can like show it off it does have the lining as well like it's just a beautifully constructed dress really nice wrap style dress you can tie it on the side as well or tie it to the back however you wish and it does have the collar details too. This is the piece I'm gonna finish off on and other stories really do have some great, great, great pieces. Higher price point, we already know it. Higher price point, but I think for the most part, the quality does match it. So yeah, happy to have this in my wardrobe too. <sighs> I need a drink. Okay guys, so that is the end of the video. And honestly, this has been a stupendously big haul. But I can honestly say some of these pieces have been in my wardrobe since like August. So it's getting to the point where I couldn't just do a H&M haul or a Zara haul. So I thought I might as well just bring everything together and do it as one. And I'm hoping you've enjoyed it. If you have reached the end of the video, leave a brown heart in the comment section below. Let me know that you've reached here. And of course, if you have, thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know in the comments as well. Have you picked up any of these pieces? I feel like maybe with the H&M jacket and the Zara Gelé, some of you may already have it in your wardrobe or you might have something like these boots, maybe a dupe, something similar. Maybe you've been on the hunt and your girl just hooked you up. Let me know what you have that's new into your wardrobe that you are going to be wearing this autumn winter season. As I said, I post Wednesday and Sunday, 7 p.m. every single week, so you can catch me then. But before I release those videos, if you haven't already, go check out some of my other content. Go see if there's anything you like. And of course, you can be sure to look forward to some more styling videos, some more maybe like capsule wardrobe videos as well for the autumn as well as the winter season, which is fast, fast, fast approaching. So I hope you all like those when those come out as well. But until then, stay well, stay blessed, good vibes only. And I'll hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.